welcome back this is the app that got built and this is the static page you see when you go to localhost uh, 3000 now let us understand what is the directory structure and the files that got created when you created this app if you look at inside the rails underscore app one directory there are a lot of directories and a lot of files that has got created it can be overwhelming sometimes to see the huge amount of directories and files but we will explain every directory and file that has got created and I'm sure you'll be able to understand everything to start with let us understand what is inside the public directory if you look at the public directory you can see the index.html prominently. What is inside index.html? It's basically the same page that you saw when you went to localhost 3000 URL. You also see 404.html, 422.html, 500.html. Basically, all the files that are that are supposed to be in the public domain is inside the public directory now in this module we will be learning about the app directory config public gem file and readme.rdoc the rest of the directories and file we leave it for the rest of the modules the first thing let us understand what is the readme.rdoc file is Basically, the readme.rdoc file, as the name suggests, is nothing but a readme file, a help file specific to the application. And it is nothing but a, just a help file. And you don't have to bother about it too much. Next, let us understand what is a gem file. For to understand the, what a gem file better, we need to look at the command rails new rails app 1 and how it got executed if you would remember it creates a set of files and directories then it does a run bundle install here what bundle install does is it fetches the required gems from rubygems.org and installs those gems how does it know which gems to fetch how does it know from where to fetch the answer is the gem file gem file contains a list of gems to be downloaded by bundle install now what is a gem think of gem as a library it is a self-contained modules of ruby code somebody has written it for you to make your life easy you use it as an api now let us look at the gem file more closely this is how a gem file looks watch the first line it says source https rubygems.org it says where the gems are available next watch this line number eight it is a list of gems to fetch so it says which gem to fetch this is the line that says so next look at line number three it says which gem to fetch and which particular version of the gem to fetch in this case it is asking gem rails comma 3.2.3 to fetch if you remember when we executed rails minus v this is the exact version it returned 3.2.3 now to summarize gem file contains a list of gems to be downloaded by bundle install the readme file is the readme.rdoc the public file public directory is where you have all the public visible files like index.html 404.html 500.html the app directory is where you have the actual application code things like your models views and controllers 
We'll understand more of models, views and controllers later, but just understand now that the app directory contains the core of the application code. The config directory is where you, the configurations related to the application resides.